Yes! Everyone at vidi.space, the haunted dot space. Hi, this is Ghost Cryer. We're at ghostcryer.com. We do stuff, right, Nick? Who are you looking at? I'm like, yeah, I was looking at the future, everyone. My name's Aaron G. Thompson. This is Nick. And, this you is know. Aaron's hat. <laughs> You're jelly, that's what it is. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Too bad Kelly's, like, not, you know, here, right? But through the magic of internet television. Oh my we gosh! We have one ready. Wow, <laughs> it's that's, a self-made Kelly. That's that's not cheesy at all. That's not <laughs> cheesy at all. All right, guys, we're at Z uh, Zost Fry. Is that right, Zost Fry? Those of you that know that we have a YouTube channel, you might recognize this. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> Mausoleum from a previous video. We decided to come back today because the last time that we filmed here, we did not have Kelly with us, and she can feel things and. She has adamantium uh, steel claws. That's pretty cool. She can go invisible too. So I keep my hands behind yeah. my back a lot. Yeah, she has superpowers that we do not have that go beyond <laughs> this here. We also have some other devices that we uh, didn't we have use some last unlockers. time. So, um, how you doing? Yeah, guys, this is this is raw. This is something that we're gonna try to get more uh, in depth into what we found out from our YouTube investigation. Because for those who, who don't know, this uh, mausoleum was broken into and damaged back in the mid 2000s and the newspaper's article said it was like teenage they don't, they don't know who it was but that's who they kind of defaulted to well the skeleton in there was literally picked up and danced with i don't know about you but i was a teenager uh nick and, and kelly at one point is this something that that you guys would do for funsies no, that's so yeah. disrespectful how about if you were on meth and you're looking for the next fix and you wanted to, to grave rob so you can get that there's so many things wrong with that sentence yeah, right, okay. <laughs> Drug free kids, no one's on math here. But there was a name that we got last time, um, first and last name, and I did some research on it, and uh, it was, I can't remember the last name, no, it was Amanda something, um, but she was picked up from for meth. Was a it a hug and kiss? Um, what the meth is kiss. going on oh, here? Gosh. <laughs> so we might have gotten something, but it, it's in, within context of who would go in there. Let's see if we can kind of dig a little bit deeper, uh, see if they still be able to speak with us, um, and just kind of, Investigate the area. See so if we can get see so if we can get the EMF yeah, pits. There's a whole row of mausoleums here that have been long forgotten that Kelly's picked up on a few things. Ooh. And unfortunately it sounds like the things that she picked up on are in my favorite. Going back to the YouTube video. Well wait, that wasn't on YouTube, that was on Facebook. The the Lotto Mausoleum. The guy's name is El Otto. But I say it's Lotto. He invented scratch-offs. If you go up, there's a little ruby and a cherries on the side of the wall. Not really, but it'd be funny if it was. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, so, yeah. More onlookers. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> How you doing? I'm hiding behind a tree. <laughs> you got a lot of people here. This is, I guess, goofy for, for people to witness. Nick, let's have to be seven. Let's see if we can wake the house real quick. No. <laughs> wake the yard. Wake the yard. It's wicked awesome, guys. Wouldn't that be waking the dead? Oh, wow. Wow. Sounds like a goth teen out dance with skeletons. I think we came to the right place for that thing, yeah, it sounds like. Oh yeah. gosh. You should come here to listen to Taylor Swift because you've come to the right place. Step by the vehicle over there after this. All right, that works. Hey, Zost Fry, it's uh, Nick and Aaron. We're back with Kelly and Jared. You recognize Jared from last time. Uh, it's been about a year. Are you happy to see us here again? Do you hear that? It sounded like it said you're married. Bam! <laughs> well, yes, yes, you are since last time. Boom. Shocking, yes. It, some things have happened since the last time we spoke to you. Um, we grew up. Breaking the hearts of even the dead. Look at yeah. you go. Uh, last time we were out here, you were shocked that we could hear you with this. So, uh, what, what, what news do you have for us besides that? Looks like they cleaned up a little bit around here, but you, you the, the walls on you side of your uh, mausoleum is starting to crack. Is it structurally sound still? Couldn't pick anything up out of that. 
Now, Kelly's saying that there's somebody in the lotto mausoleum that's not supposed to be there. Do you know anything about that? Somebody may be hidden in there before they brick the door up because I know they brick the door up at one point in time because of break-ins. Did somebody break in and hide somebody in there? Is that what's going on here? Is that what she's picking up? Could be. Um, this is getting good. I'm gonna go get my recorder because I didn't think I would need that, and then I saw that camera. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go vidi vidi vlogs, and we'll post on kind of what what Nick captured when he cuts that down and and gets that built up. So that should be exciting. He's a rock star with the post on that. No, I just I just want the recorder just in case the audio isn't loud enough. You have to turn on. Oh, it's on. Well, this this bad boy's gonna be a one shot. Yeah. Anyways, let me see here. So no, this is no edit, guys. Wrong. See what you get. See what you get. All right, I'm just gonna put this to the obelisk. Go ahead if you want to jump into that again. So that could be what happened. You said with the El Auto Mausoleum. Is there a name of the person that is in there that's not supposed to be in there? Why won't you say it? I got a help on here. Help? Who, who put the extra body in the mausoleum? This felt like someone's hand was like right by my ear. You know how that, you get that weird like energy feeling when someone's like, say you're sitting on a couch watching a TV show and someone comes up behind you and like you can like feel their presence that's it was just feeling that like right here say you're sitting on the couch watching the haunted dot space yeah say right? you, say <laughs> you find yourself sitting on the couch watching the haunted dot space on your uh, Amazon Fire Stick and or Amazon Fire TV you're welcome Elizabeth and uh, <laughs> you feel somebody creep up behind you that's what it felt like right there Is somebody coming up behind us right now <laughs> looking I think that's what I picked up that they're just looking so you, did you say you had something you felt like there was something behind you yeah, yeah. why what that's that scratch 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 and then it said lamp do we ask who they love <laughs> I love lamp where'd you get those where'd you get that hat at the toilet store it said seek <laughs> seek seek the lamp you have a flashlight on anybody any chance yeah. a lamp you got a lamp I guess, can we get the camera over here, peek in the, uh, let's, let's take a look guys, see if we can get a good angle. Um, may want to go night vision just to get the best grid. Oh, oh, down a little bit, down a little bit, there you go. So when this place got broken into, they busted open that particular spot. The, the, the two that are off to your right on the uh, camera there, they busted those open and actually pulled the corpses out of there. I had a mosquito, that's what that blowing noise was. But they pulled the corpses out 
And that particular one, when they, they closed this mausoleum off so nobody could get back in, for some reason they didn't bother closing up the, the, per, the, the tomb. And to this day, you can still look in there and see that person laying there. It's kind of gross. But I've always known about this place. Aaron never knew about it. And when we shot our YouTube video, we were just trying to come up with places to go. <clears throat> and I brought them down here and we actually had some good communication happen that day. So we decided to come back today for you, the Haunted Space viewer. Now Aaron's going to play with some uh, applications. Applications, thank he you. He needs to play with that hat. That's what he needs. Are you love it, guys? I think there's jealousy there. It's it oh, way it's too much. Jealous because I don't own Dutch D Dutch boy paints. That's what it is. <laughs> I can paint his ass. He stuck his finger in a dike over in Holland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he finished within Holland there. <laughs> oh, guys. Uncensored. Oh, the haunted dust space. All right, guys. So uh, we're going to go back to the Necrophonic. As you know, um, this is a new application for us. We're still learning the sounds and everything and seeing how that works. Um, I'm going to start with white noise with, with all the phonemes, um, the part words, and we'll see if we can't get a little uh, more validation to uh, A, the scenario here, or B, the scenario down there, where there may be something that wandered in and then got sealed up. They don't have windows in the other ones, do they? Oh, they do. It's in the top. That would suck. Because, as you know, when you're in your consciousness state, it's hard to realize that you can vibrate through things because that's not normal. Um, so very well, if something got in there for a hot second, got sealed up, it's there. Um, so, hey guys, so you know that, so I know that this is working. Um, I know you're here, please say your name. Hi. And yeah, you are dead, but it's not a bad thing. So. Yeah. Say, can you give me your name if you said it? We haven't heard it quite yet. What's that? Sound like it heard fry right there. I heard a zealous, but it's questionable. So, do you guys know of any uh, energy that's locked in any of the other sealed mausoleums? In one. I don't know that I feel that the energy is necessarily trapped in the okay. mausoleum. It's just, and that's kind of what I was telling Nick when I come to cemeteries. He was asking what it's like for me to come into a cemetery. And a lot of times the spirits themselves aren't here, but I can kind of get stories or information about them. And so what, it's more... What I asked exactly was if it was like that scene from Frighteners where Michael J. Fox is walking through the cemetery and... Strip. Arlie Ermy comes out of the mausoleum. What is your problem? He's the Marine, and then there's the old cowboy. And... Continue, sorry. That is truly what he asked me. I, I, I'm i sure that's it. It was. Um, well, I'm sure but... that's really how she envisions. But it's, uh, no, it's, it was more just information that I was being given. Um, and I don't know that it was when they broke in. It almost feels like, I mean, whoever was put in there, it was almost done out of love. Oh, so. It could be Lotto's mistress or something. Or a child. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, well, Lotto's. Stand by, I'll be back with Lotto's date. Nope. What, what's Lotto's first name? This guy is just not even going to answer since we can't call him his right name. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Say, say Otto. I only say Lotto because it's L Otto. Did I say, did I say Lotto on accident? Yeah. Oh, my bad. I meant Otto. Sorry. What's your first name, Otto? Oh. No. 
So the lotto mausoleum is 1910, so at that time illegitimate children was a thing, but like they didn't like embrace it like they do nowadays, you know. They tried to hide it and you hear a lot of stories of we threw the ugly twin in the attic and stuff. <laughs> Or the disabled child that they were ashamed of. Yeah. Or the so. Child. Although I don't know that I feel that it was a child when they died. Is there another one? Really? No, that's the Totally seeing things. Oh, the way those bushes are growing, they like grew in a square, so it does look like. I just glanced for a second and I'm like, oh, there's one berry. And then like, now, who's the uh, who's the name of the individual who destroyed your mausoleum years ago? Was it more than one person? Eight. How many people were involved? Eight. Four. A lot. That sounds like numbers. Four, one, lot, twelve. Eight. Eight. Well, A seems to be there. How many, how many, uh, how many fingers am I holding up right now? No. It said three, then no. Then... Just to make sure that this device is working, guys. That's all we're doing. We're calibrating it for you here. How many fingers am I holding up? Five. Five. That's five. Can you guys, can you guys do it one more time? Tell me how many fingers I'm holding up again. It's the same amount, but start with one. Count one, two, three, four, five, just to make sure. You can do it. Maybe you missed one, two, but I think I heard three, four, five. I know this isn't exact uh, art of communicating, guys. So warm in these rhinos. I can't hold, um, hold them to uh, exact uh, experiments like that, but I, I think we may have gotten a good, good enough. So where should we where should we go from here to speak with? I think we should mosey down to the Lotto Mausoleum just. Honestly. What what mausoleum should we do? Auto? Uh, Say so get it right. Said you're there. Say it right. What's your, what's your first name, Otto? Say Lee. Did I get Lee out of that one? Either Lenny or Lee. <laughs> Who's up there by uh, by Otto's mausoleum? Who is that? Yes, it's Nicholas. Yeah. Uh, Simon. Uh, not quite Simmons, but you know, you get it. We get it. Go <laughs> I'm going to turn this off real quick. And if you want to kind of do your thing a little bit, if you want to drive a little bit, I'm going to look up Otto's first name. Yeah, I was going to look it up, but I had it on airplane mode, so I put my phone back away.
it's a family member. It's somebody that, I mean, I guess you could say belongs in there. And it was before it was sealed up. Whatever door they had on it before, it wasn't hard for them to get in it. So it wasn't bricked like this. Up there by a chance? Blue Auto. Uh, 1910. Blue Auto brings the heat. Uh, um, Alright, so we're standing in front of the supposed mausoleum that has an extra soul in it, according to Kelly behind me. What's your relation to the Auto family, extra person? <laughs> Did you hear that? What is that? Sounded like sun. I mean, this is all purely speculation. We're trying to get to the bottom of this. I thought I heard sun. I didn't let it, let it roll long enough. But are you the sun? Whether it be illegitimate or hidden sun. She wasn't a child, she was an adult, but she was still fairly young. I would guess her to be maybe 27-ish. Is that more fitting to you compared to Sun? I heard it is Jonathan. Sound like good job right up here by my ear. Oh. <laughs> what possible could be a female inside there, like Louise? Louise, yeah. Louise Otto and her son is in there. Oh. Could be that, yeah. Aaron decided to do a Google search without knowing how in depth a Google search on a, a name in Davenport, Iowa is occurring up. <laughs> well, actually, I found Learns some... the hard way, just like his hat. I got it for bacon. <laughs> the internet has everything, guys. Don't um, listen to him, listen to Aspie South. <laughs> 12 million mosquitoes. Up there. El Otto family, it was Kelly Wright on what she said about there being a female daughter in there. <laughs> Pleasure, did you invent scratch off? <laughs> yes. What did it say? I'm sorry. Do you know Polly the ice pick? Joking aside, thank you for speaking with us. I'm going to go back down and we're going to move further on down. Is there anything you'd like to say about the mausoleums that are down that way? Alright, goodbye for now. El Ato. El 
auto means the auto. Right? Um, so I did a little bit of, a, of course, the Google. The Google has everything. Internet's always right, right, guys? Um, there's a couple articles of people really knowing nothing about this plot of land, but one guy did speak up and believes that he's just starting his research and believes that it's his family. All these mausoleums are linked as family. Um, they're from different countries, uh, clearly. And uh, yeah, that's kind of all we got working with, whether that's true or not. Again, the guy's search just started. So, could be, could be. Ramos. As you can see, the Ramus mausoleum, we are not going up there because we are all in shorts. Aaron's in flip-flops as usual, and I that looks like a good that. spot to get some kind of poisonous plant you all over you. You need his glow-in-the-dark laces for one, so yeah. All right, let me comfort it up. <laughs> oh. Uh, down here we have C. Peters 1891. C. Peters, that's Aaron's all over that one. To C. Peters. That's... <laughs> Fire your app up. Man. See if you see Peters. You are With that over. hat, you might. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. Look at this shirt, guys. Ghostcrier.com. She's not on ghostcrier.com. And after you go to ghostcrier.com, click the hot link on ghostcrier.com to Dutch Boy Paints. Redo your living room today. Thompson Water Seal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not sponsored. No, but um. <laughs> All right. He doesn't need no sponsorship. I, I could do this on my own. I'll run the company during the day and I'll hunt ghosts at night, he said. Hardcore. Yeah. Just like plumbing. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what, let's do the uh, Sweep Ghost Box. A little different app we don't really use too much. Um, hey guys, uh, my name's Aaron. Um, probably heard us ranting and raving over down the yonder, way. down the way. Oh, we do want to speak with you guys. So if you can please uh, speak with us. I'm going to run the uh, box pretty quick here. Um, I'm going to reverse it though, guys, so that's happening. Alright. So, who, who are we speaking with? Peter! I heard Peter. Um, what's Peter's first name? Is that what I heard? Yeah. <laughs> to let us know, uh, you know, that, that you're here, can you guys say, uh, Jerry, please? Can you tell us what's unique with all these mausoleums around here? Are they connected? What's unique? Here, guys, share your story. <laughs> You know, I almost heard maybe we are family, but again, since I, since Google gave me the idea, let's go to Spiritus real quick. We'll see if we you get a review. Off. Yeah, I got tipped off, guys. Here I know, Leah. It can happen to the best of us. Not Welcome to Spiritus. Not counting it. But I do want to know, guys, please, again, guys, um, with the new application, 
Can you tell us what leads all these mausoleums? Is there something unique with you in this area? What are you guys to each other? Can you tell me again what C stands for for uh, C Peters? What's your first name, Mr. Peters? Someone else tell us his name? What do you want to tell us? Boy, I bet this thing was nice back in the day. Sure. You guys, thanks for speaking to us through this. So we'll, we'll talk to you before we head out here. We'll try a few couple uh, different things, see if you can interact with us a bit more. Thank you guys. Yeah. Those other ones are like completely overgrown and this one looks like somebody trimmed it back. You're welcome. some interesting things there. Um, it's kind of hard to, to hear a lot of it, but I mean, I'm fascinated with why there's no history on these mausoleums. Um, I wonder if it's called the cemetery, if they have any. I know that they should have plot records for well, everything. I worked at a cemetery. Once. Yeah, the cemetery is uh, unfortunately struggling. They don't have funds to even mow it. There's volunteers that do it. You might see some plots around graveyards where family members go out here manually to, to mow. Um, I wonder how, I mean, yeah, they should, they should, but, um, for whatever reason, it was neglected, and they I don't... don't have, like, an office in Ah, uh, we'll figure it out, I and mean, there has to be, there has to be, because there's yeah, a crematorium. Some sort of record, you would think. You know, yeah. Whether or not it can be found. The crematorium. Where's the Eddie at? Back down in the window still? Uh, I don't know. Nick, did you put the Eddie on the truck? Yeah. Okay. H caps. 1895. I wanna. You were here in 1895. Who busted open the last one for Zost Fry down on the end? 
Do you have any leads for us? with some easy questions. Why'd you guys choose to have your mausoleums right here? I get the feeling that this used to be the original roadway that would take you up into the rest of the cemetery on top of the hill. Would that be correct? It looks like the road kind of etches right up through the hill there towards the top. There's more graves up there. Um, there's another mo big mausoleum up behind us on top of the hill. Was this the roadway? Yes or no? of you watching from the comfort of your very own couch on the Amazon Fire Stick or or Amazon Fire HD TV um, this cemetery that we're standing in the the murderous chiropractor Dr. Clint is buried here he uh, cut his wife up with a chainsaw and threw her body in the river so does anybody here know Dr. Clint <laughs> bring him down here I don't want to talk to him he, uh, he had a rough end of, to his life he actually went to prison for what he did and he got out which is rare see Rome round up there quick can you give us the name of the cemetery that we're standing in right now for all the viewers at home hmm. yeah I'm getting ate up um, I will say that some of you might see it as cheesy that we came to a cemetery to have communication, but this is actually how a lot of people start out when they are beginning their career, or well, career or hobby in the paranormal field. You see uh, all the time, <laughs> all the time, that's a brick staircase. We Safety first, guys. You see it all the time that people come into cemeteries and stuff, so we thought we'd bring you here today just to show you our cemetery, one of the many, many, many cemeteries here in Davenport. This one is probably the oldest. Actually, there's one other old one. We drove past it. It's down by my work, the city cemetery. Oh, yeah. Fun fact about that one, the city of Davenport does not have records for people in the cemetery before the 1880s. So that would be a neat one to go have communication at, but it is surrounded by busy streets on all sides, so it wouldn't be good for yeah. audio. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the box, we might have good box communication, but of course, any digital EVP will be thrown out. Um, that's a lot of the outside work. But, but yeah, you know, a lot of times we do come to these cemeteries um, really just to pull out some communication because you get, we get good communication, honestly, any place we step into. Um, even a bathroom. <laughs> if we, if we, well, we don't even have to try that hard because um, it's, it's out there, guys. There's that, that whole vacuum, the whole... Uh, 
world, matrix, whatever you want to call it, um, that's, that's surrounding us. So it's just about how you conduct and, and pull out those old stories. I mean, our devices, they're not perfect. They're not perfect, Nick. You're perfect. But our devices are not. Hopefully, that hat's perfect. That, oh my gosh, I had to get one more jab in, didn't I? Didn't I? The um, fun fact with the, uh, the chiropractor, he, after he got out of prison, he uh, sold hot dogs. Tacos. Taco, tacos, that's my bad, my bad. Tacos, taco meat, right? Yeah, yeah, taco stand. Yeah. That's delicious sounding, right guys? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we might be doing some work uh, around that around that story here in the near future of Viddy.Space, the haunt of that space. Guys, we're ghostcrier.com. If you check out patreon.com uh, slash ghostcrier, we, we, we do this. We want to do this as a, you know, as a profession, as a nine to five, because we feel like we, we, can move the field forward, you know. I know it's kind of bold to say, um, but we're passionate. It didn't enough. look like it today. It was mostly jabs uh, about his hat and scratch off tickets, but but the love's me. there. <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it wasn't said, then I would worry. I would, but but the love. Nobody likes there. my hat. Oh man. Nobody said anything. I Last can't believe nobody said anything hat. about my hat. Guys, go ahead and tell me how much you love my hat. Go to tw Twitter, tweet me. I love. What do you guys think about his hat? This hat. Take it no. off. That's what I heard too. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Put her there. All right. <laughs> Man, everyone's a critic. I thought, I thought the internet was bad. Um, Just the afterlife seems <laughs> more. So, of course, we're saying goodbye, guys. Uh, there's Kelly over there doing her thing. Um, huge asset to the team. Same with Jared, Nick. My name's Aaron G. Thompson. Nick, can you throw it up one more time? I want to say goodbye to everyone. Thank you so much for speaking with us. The Haunted Dot Space, again. Goodbye, Good we're going to leave now. Let's hear it. <laughs> You heard the man, we're leaving. Can you say goodbye, please? That was how I said the ladies down there. Talking about Kelly? Yeah, she is down there. She is. Yeah. True. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, hey, it is what it is. Straight cut. We love you guys. Peace. Pan oh. off into the woods. <laughs> oh, really? Pan yeah. off into the woods. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off. We're done. Hey, everyone. You made it to the end of the video. Hi. My name's Aaron G. Thompson, ghostcrier.com. We do this on a, on a standard that um, requires some resources to be uh, provided since, we're, since we can't do what we're doing uh, yet um, as a profession and we still have a 9 to 5 jobs. We do ask that you uh, support you know, Patreon.com if you see a value in us because we really are pushing the field here at Ghost Cryer. Um, or uh, you know, ultimately just, just check us out on other avenues. We, have uh, a show we release on viddy.space you can get a subscription there check out breaking frequencies literally it's our love letter to the paranormal community to you um, we go uh, break down the historical aspect uh, the techniques as well as the science behind it all um, it's again it's really kind of the full package and no current uh, TV show really has all of that going on for it. So again, check that out. And you can also check it out on Amazon. So yeah, Amazon Video Prime, the thing guys. So cool, love you. We're, like, we're really rated pretty well on Amazon right now, by the way. I don't wanna curse us, but <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Expect more of these one shot moments to be uh, popping on our channel. Peace, sucker. Love you. Thanks, guys.